at. <laughs> Alright, so they go off looking for Master Roshi, which actually I'm going to give this movie a tiny, tiny bit of credit for. They actually got Roshi's character right. He's goofy, he's perverted, he's always trying to touch Bulma, he has Good. porno mags around his house, and Bulma is looking through his house, and she pulls out a porno mag, and he's like, uh, that's uh, special edition. And he pulls it away from her. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So I swear to god, how come all the trainers are such pervs? I mean, in, in, even in Naruto, the trainers were very perverted. I know, Kakashi always had that perverted novel around yeah, with him. Kakashi. And I forget his name for some reason. Mm. Mm, who was it? I don't know. Jiraiya. Yeah, Jiraiya, yeah. Alright, so continuing on. Awesome. Uh, Alright. As as Goku picks up his Dragon Ball, he looks into it, and he sees a vision. He sees a vision of Piccolo doing, like, a... Now we're going a, to the Lord of the Rings territory. Yeah, it's like that one little, um... Ball, let, let, one little ball thing that uh, Saur uh, Saruman had that had to be covered up or else Saruman would see you and be like, I see you. Dun, dun, dun. And no, this isn't Lord of the Rings. The Dragon Balls don't need to be covered up. I mean, they're shiny and all, but they don't need to be covered up. Jesus. Oh, yeah, the Dragon Balls are back and that you see a vision. Then it's all orange. No, and even uh, when he picks Star up Zoom. the last Dragon Ball... Well, he picks up, like, the last Dragon Ball for them, and Piccolo comes and takes it, of course. He sees a vision of Osaru, who looks like a pig. He a says pig he looks like he has a snort, a snout for a nose. Nothing like... He looks more like a werewolf when he finally transforms into one. Oh, and I haven't even touched on how they did the Kamehameha. Alright, so they put the left arm out. They pull that one in, put the right arm out, you pull that back in, you do the hokey pokey, and then you shoot a Kamehameha wave. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. It is nothing it like, bad. when that first happened in the, when it first happened in the anime, they put out their hands, made a little ball form, turned it back into their waist, and then Kamehameha! You do Simple. the hokey pokey, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> Kamehameha! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm the fire in Belize, oh, blah! <laughs> and, yeah. And the the key blasts in this, in this movie, they look terrible. The they look like I mean, puffs of smoke with colors in them. The, the key blasts, to me, they look like, like somebody throwing fireballs or something. No, they weren't even that. They were just puffs of smoke. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no. Listen, here's the trick to learning the Kamiyami, huh? Have Chi Chi seduce you by saying, "All right, I'm standing here. If you blow out all these candles with the Kamehameha, because apparently that's what it does, and that's what it's good for, you know. Because Kamehameha is not not a great weapon for a great warrior. It's not to blow out candles, you know. And <laughs> and uh, so every time he blows out a candle, he gets to move one step close to her, which leads to a kiss. But he doesn't do it, and he messes up, and all of them get blown out. And she's like, ah ah ah, and he's like. Goku wouldn't do this! What possessed them to think Goku would have any slight interest in women? What is our problem? What were they smoking? I want some of that, because it sounds good. Maybe it's the, maybe, no, no, no. Maybe it's the guy who smoked this decided to make Piccolo yellow. And have ingrown antennas. He They're doesn't ingrown. even look that great. Yeah, he has like freaking ridges on his head instead. It's like, oh, what the fuck? Would it have been cheaper to do antennas anyway? Yeah, it would. But, listen. Okay, my sister likes Buffy the Vampire. So, the guy who did Spike in Buffy the Vampire is doing uh, Piccolo in this movie. That's her sole reason for going to this movie. God. I wish I could save her. You know, I feel but sorry it's too late. for the people who are going to go see it. And then they're gonna watch the actual anime. They're gonna be so pissed. I know, dude. It's ridiculous. Dude, you guys have alienated us, for God's sakes. What do you mean? Well, you, you kind of know, like, the Halo game they have. When they made Halo Wars, a lot of pe a lot of people were saying, you know, if they make when they made Halo Wars, that's gonna a that's definitely gonna alienate all the Halo fans. 
Well, no, no, no. actually, it didn't. It actually, I liked it. I, I like, I like the demo. They said that um, Halo Wars was, was like the best, like kind of Halo game that they sold. I never actually played it. I just heard, I just heard a lot of rumors about it. It's like Command and Conquer RTS, you know. You know what? Yeah. There's an uh, there is action. Oh, off topic. There actually is an a non-player character in Halo Wars that has the same name as me, and if he gets hit one time, he's dead. Really? I swear oh. to God, that sucks. Why? How come he had the same had have the same name as me, Wimpy Adam? <laughs> that was his name. Yes, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Somebody must not like you. <laughs> no, he he yeah because he had to. You have to save him to get a skull, and I swear to God. Uh, oh oh sure, he has to be that weak and have the same name. So wait, you say he gets owned by a freaking grunt? Yeah, one hit. Wow. God. I'm so sorry, my friend. All right. One but... shot. Well, wait, one shot in the foot by a plasma. <laughs> And he'd be dead. One sh shot in the foot by a plasma pistol. And he'd wow. be dead. <laughs> you, know, you know, I bet I bet the plasma pistol doesn't even hit him. The spark kills him. <laughs> Dude, that, oh my god, that he poked works. me. That he, works. He that breathed works. at me. <laughs> Alright. So, we're, yeah, we're, we're, uh, let's get back on topic. Um, so, the final battle comes around. We find out that Uzaru is Piccolo's disciple. Piccolo is in control of Ozaru, which makes absolutely no fucking sense at all. Yeah, it makes her supposed to control people's minds. No, because he is a Saiyan. He's not some descendant of the Namekian race. I thought, no, I thought that was, like, fused with Kami. Uh -uh. I didn't... Piccolo's not a Saiyan. He, he's no, no, like... I'm saying Goku is a Saiyan. Oh, yeah. They're, they're trying to pull him off as a student of Piccolo. He had nothing to do with Piccolo, even when he was on Planet Vegeta. Nothing to do with him at all. He just... What, the... what were they smoking? Seriously. <laughs> Pass it around. Oh, well. I think so... they're already all gone, Jeff. Piccolo yeah, really so... never okay, had ultimately... any real association with Goku. Ultimately, Ozaru killed Roshi, and he ends up looking like a giant werewolf. Actually, no, not a giant werewolf, and a kind of tall werewolf who doesn't even look like a werewolf he looks more like a human with a lot of hair on him well that that really would be the nose. ape that they pulled from the ant An anim series that doesn't matter because be because oh. you gotta admit oh. even in the An anim series they he, he kind of the ape did look like a wolf well it looked more like a monkey than this one <laughs> all right so Oh, I forgot to mention, Yamcha is, um, he doesn't fight, he doesn't have Puar, he doesn't have a sword, he doesn't have any characteristics, he doesn't have the Wolfing Fist, he doesn't have, he doesn't have his black hair, he has white hair. Bleach white hair. Wow, that must be... In, the, in yeah, Evolution? Surfer. Yeah, in Evolution, he has bleach white hair. And he talks like a surfer dude, he talks like Neo in that one movie. Whoa! Hey guys, I'm gonna go help you out that hole, because I'm the king of thieves. Whoa! I think they just spit God, off where, face with this Where one. do these developers come up with their ideas? Well, I don't know, man, but I want some of that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right. This this movie is basically just spitting in the face of all the Dragon Ball Z fans. Yeah. And yeah. you know what pisses me off to an even bigger level than what this movie's doing? What? The people who are defending it. Oh god. No, seriously, I have went on YouTube. I have went on YouTube and I've seen defense videos for this movie, saying, "Oh, oh this anime cannot be converted to a real life. It had to be, you know, it had, they had to do this kind of realism." No, they didn't. They could have given the fans what they wanted—the real story. Yeah, yeah, like, but instead of the cap, they have a fucking grenade. Like, isn't it easier to do a cap than just get a pill and throw it in the damn ground? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, but those are those like those ignorant eight-year-olds who think anything. That's slightly action is cool. Oh my god, he kicked that one dude in the face. I